lovely ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are a newcomer. So you probably clicked on this video because you saw the title. Yes, today we'll be unboxing Beetlejuice themed unique vintage clothes. I was able to get some on Black Friday so I'm super super excited. I am here today in my, I think this is a Hot Topic dress. It is themed for The Nightmare Before Christmas. We've got little Jack, Locke, and Beryl, I think those are their names. Little jack-o'-lanterns all over, <laughs> all over. Um, and I've got little Sallys and little Jacks. I think Oogie Boogie is somewhere around here. Yes, he's the same color right here. He's right here. Uh, but we've got little bats all over. It's a very, very exciting and loud dress, so I don't get to wear it very often. So I decided to wear it today in the partner Beetlejuice movie, or the partner Tim Burton movie for Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice so, so much, so I was excited to get a couple themed items from Unique Vintage. They had a Beetlejuice themed collection this year. So it's very exciting. I am very, very, very excited to get into this. Um, usually I don't get super excited about things. If you hear anything in the background, my fiance is gaming in the back and my mother is on the phone with I think my grandma. <laughs> I'm trying to determine on the conversation who, who she's talking to in her room. Um, but if you hear any voices in the background, that's my mom and Kevin's gaming uh, on his place. So I'm sure you'll hear some noise in the background. I apologize for that. Um, I'm here with some greenish lipstick with you for you today. Um, let's get it right into here. So we're doing an unboxing slash slash try on haul today. So let's dig in. So we've got the unique vintage paper. <laughs> we've got a bonus item that I'm gonna start off with which is a little black and white striped scarf. So let me go ahead and unbag this. Everything is already in plastic, so I'll just show the item. I'll do a little playthrough of what the website image originally was and unbag this for you. So we've got this adorable little scarf. It is slightly see-through because it's just a little nylon scarf, but it is black and white striped. It is, excuse me, um, it is not part of the collection, but I think it fits in perfectly. So I went ahead and grabbed it since it was Black Friday and I was able to get everything a little bit on sale. Um, I feel like this would definitely fit in with a lot of the items that I purchased today. And just in general, I have a lot of black and white striped things. So I feel like this would definitely fit in with both, with pretty much anything Tim Burton, to be honest. Um, so this would be very cute to, oh, it's getting a little staticky, um, <laughs> to tie up in the hair or make a neck scarf. So I'll do a little try on bit with me putting it in my hair, I think, so you can get a good idea. Usually I'll put my hair in a high pony and I'll usually fold this in half and make a little circle right through my hair and yeah. <laughs> it's very static enough for me throwing it away, throwing it around. Um, but yeah, I think this looks super, super cute in a high pony wrapped in my hair. I hope you agree. <laughs> Um, so moving into the Beetlejuice themed items, we're going to start off with this Beetlejuice skirt. So I am super excited to get this skirt. It is a little silky looking. Um, it has some pleating in the front. Look at this cute little card. I will definitely be hanging on to this. This is super cute. So I got it in a 1X because based on the size chart, there was a size chart for each individual item. There is a, a little silica packet fell out. Make sure you uh, hang on to these and dispose of them properly or reuse them. I like to stick them. I'm, I live in the north in the cold. 
So I like to stick them in with my seasonal clothing when I put it down in the basement so it stays nice and fresh and no moisture gets in. Um, but the back of the skirt has this little stretch panel. So I ordered a 1X so that it would fit properly. Um, I think I'll try and try this on with a petticoat and without just so you can see the difference in fit. But it has this beautiful white and black striping around the top. It is solid black in the skirt and then right at the bottom of the skirt there is a border of a sandworm. So, so cute. And this is actually printed into the fabric. So it's not an overlay. It is the actual fabric. Oh, so this is super exciting. So in the front of the skirt, you can see it starts to wrap around. Here's the mouth of the sandworms. You hate them, right? Um, and you can see it wraps all the way around. Ooh, here we go. All the way around one more time. And there's the end of it. So right in the front of the skirt, you see whoop, both, I'm trying to see what you're seeing, both the end and the beginning of the sandworm wrapping all the way around. Um, so I think it's a nice cute little accent without being a bit too much. I feel like this dress is a bit too much sometimes. Um, so this is definitely something that's a little more Halloween-y themed. Um, but I feel like you could definitely wear this all year round and get lots and lots of compliments on it. I am super excited to get into this. So you'll see me trying this on. I love the silky feeling of this skirt. Um, again, it is just pleated in the fronts. Um, I wish, so the back of it is um, actually kind of ruched a bit. So it's more similar to a circle skirt, whereas the front is just pleated. Um, so it's not as wide as I would want this skirt to be to wear a petticoat with it, but I'll go ahead and try it on with both a petticoat and without a petticoat, just so you can get an idea of the fullness of the skirt itself. Um, but there is some stretch in it, um, going both directions just for fit, not a whole bunch, um, but super, super cute overall. I really, really love the satiny skirt. So moving on to the next unique vintage item that is Beetlejuice themed is this dress. And I'll go ahead and show you those product photos here. So we have this dress here. There's a little bow in front that you can tie up. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Either I will tie it up um, or I may even just cut a couple threads here and remove it all together. I'm not a huge fan of front bows. Um, but I got this dress in a 1X based off of the size chart since it did say it ran a little big. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Also, I think the 2X was taken, so I was like, I'll just settle for a 1X. Hopefully that was the right decision. Um, you'll find out in the try-on portion. Um, hopefully the arms will stretch enough because I do have kind of larger arms. But the arms is stretchy here. The fabric itself, there isn't, there's a stretch this direction, but there isn't a whole bunch of stretch this direction. So long ways, lots of stretch. Wide ways, I guess you would say, there isn't a whole bunch of stretch. Um, so there's this cute, like, sweetheart looking neckline and stretchy sleeves. And this is kind of a circle skirt. Um, go where it is pleated here. There are pockets. Who doesn't love pockets? I love pockets so much. I am the pocket queen. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe if you like pockets because all of my garments have but have to have pockets. Um, actually, I forgot to mention the skirt does have pockets. You probably saw me putting my hands in them in the try on portion, but I just wanted to mention them that. I love all this stuff, it's so exciting. But this green, I was worried that it was gonna be like this green. I'm not a huge fan of this like bright, I forget what the word for it is, like chartreuse yellow green. Um, I'm much more a fan of this. It did look bright. Like this, these little bugs, these little beetles right here are almost just like this color. Um, so I'm glad that it's kind of a muted lighter green instead. I feel like that's a lot better. 
personally in my opinion um, but it says Beetlejuice on it and there's little black beetles and tiny little green beetles and again it's a little ruched here there are pockets and it goes down to this little black border here to kind of break things up and here's the bottom it's super super cute I really hope this fits um, again I'm taking a risk doing a 1x I will squeeze into it somehow um, the zipper goes all the way down I am so excited about that again hopefully this fits <laughs> and moving on to the next item so we have this skirt it isn't in particularly Beetlejuice part of the Beetlejuice collection like uh, this sticker part this tag says um, for the other items this is just unique vintage in fact I think it's a um, Magnolia Park is the name of the actual um, I think it's a brand that it actually is but I have been eyeing yeah plus size neon green and black striped gathered skirt a gathered circle skirt I got this in a 3x based off of the size chart this is actually a nice little zippy ziplock bag that it is in here is what the skirt looks like seeing these skirts and dresses that are in this colorant and I thought it would fit perfectly with the Beetlejuice theme um, so this is a nice bright neon green not this color of my dress which I'm very excited about and black striped skirt and um, this is there's not a lot of stretch in this um, the waistband is stiff so it looks like it will just fit in the 3x so remember to size up in this because it is not unique vintage it is Magnolia Park um, yeah interesting and there's this little button in the back and a zipper I am so excited for this skirt. I will get a lot of wear out of this skirt because again, it's, it's just stripes. It's not super too much, but I feel like it will definitely go with a lot of cute things. Um, I'll show you in the try-on portion. I will try it on with both a petticoat and without a petticoat so you can get a really good idea of how this looks. I actually really like this. This is nice and light, so I feel like it'd be really good for the summertime. Um, and of course, pairing it with a petticoat will make it more weatherproof for the winter and fall. Um, I really love this and I feel like this is definitely really universal so you could wear it you know with different types of costumes and cosplays um, or just on its own like I will be <laughs> probably with a black or green top or even white or maybe a Beetlejuice themed top um, or you could match and match, mix and match with the Beetle or with the Tim Burton family um, but yes I absolutely love all of these items I hope you enjoyed this video I certainly did and if you'd like to be part of my spooky family please subscribe and give it a like I love you all so 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 much you have a spooky evening bye